In this video, this is our second example for graphing a parabola that is not in standard form. Well, the other, actually, the other one was standard form, but it's our graph is not going to be at the, the origin. It's going to be at some hk, so it's going to be somewhere off of the origin. So the problem with this one is this is not in our standard form. So we're going to have to manipulate this to get it into the standard form in order to graph it. So the first question is, should we make it look like this or should we make it look like this? All dependent upon which variable is being squared. So since the x is being squared, we're going to want to look, make it look like this. So we got to do a little bit of manipulation. So the first manipulation is anything that doesn't have an x on it, we need to move it over to the other side. So I'm going to be taking these two values and moving them over to the other side. So to do that, I'm going to have um, x squared plus 6x. And I'm going to leave a space here because we are going to complete the square with this. So we're going to have to do some math on that. And then when we bump the 4y over, it becomes a negative 4y. We bump the 5 over, it becomes a negative 5. And we are going to add something to both sides when we complete the square here. All right, so to complete the square, we're on our way to making this look like this. So to complete the square, it's 100% based off of this b value. So we take the 6 and we do two things. We divide it by 2 and we square it. And each number plays a role. So that 9 that you get after you square it, and if this was a negative 6, we'd have a negative on this. We would keep the sign. Um, but the 9 is what you're adding to both sides of this equation. All right. And then we want to try and factor this. And so there's going to be something that's not a coincidence at all. What multiplies the 9 that adds to 6? Um, 3 and 3. It is this value every single time. So um, it's going to be x plus 3, but rather than writing it out twice, I can write it like that, which perfectly turns it into what we need. So on the other side, we're going to put all this together. So we have a negative 4y um, plus 4. Okay, so this that's not quite like this yet. It's this negative 4 that's sitting here attached to the y. So there's one last thing we have to do, and that is we have to factor out the negative 4. So when we factor it out, you're going to factor it out of both of them. So you're going to make it look like this. So that's going to be a y minus 1. And that is your standard form. x plus 3 squared equals negative 4, y minus 1. So that's what we need in order to pull all the information that we need out of it. So this is going to give us our vertex. So our vertex is left 3 and up 1. Okay, so this graph is going to start left 3, up 1. All right, I got that so far. Uh, our focal point is going to come from this negative 4, but remember that this is the 4p piece. So I take 4p, set it equal to negative 4, whatever that value is, and find out what p equals. All right, p equaling negative 1. This was an up and down graph because it was x being squared, and that p tells me that we're going to go down 1. So down 1 for the focal point and the other direction for my directrix. So your focal point is at negative 3, 0. And then um, remember to that whatever that distance is between them, it's out the exact. Uh, if this is 1, then you're going to double this distance out. So that helps us to get ourselves a visual for our parabola. All right, so rough sketch. And then um, I can start to answer the rest of the questions. We have our equation for our directrix is a horizontal line at 2. So then it's just y equals 2. And then our axis of symmetry is cutting right through the graph. So that is going to be at x equals negative 3. OK. And there is our graph of our um, parabola that was not in standard form, but we had to manipulate it by completing the square to get it into standard form and then do all the pieces. All right.